for the most part, data fetching in server components is what you should be doing in Next.js. However, if you want to fetch data in client components, that is also possible. In fact, it is probably something you already know if you have a React background. So rather than writing code from scratch, I'll take you through a client component that fetches data from our JSON server. I've created a new route called products-client. It is a React component that uses a combination of useState and useEffect to fetch and render data in the UI. We also maintain loading and error states using additional state variables and conditionally render the UI based on their values. Using useState and useEffect with an async function defined inside is the traditional way of fetching data in a React component before React Server Components. With React Server Components, the only change is the inclusion of the use client directive to accommodate these hooks. If we take a look at the browser, slash products slash client, we should see the list of products being rendered. Now what you don't get out of the box is request memoization, caching, and revalidation features. For that, you need to rely on a library like TanStack Query, which is my favorite in the React ecosystem. I have a playlist on this topic, but it covers an older version. I recommend reviewing the latest documentation to stay current with new features. Now beyond external APIs, you can also call a route handler from a client component. Route handlers run on the server and return data to the client. This is useful for keeping sensitive information such as API tokens secure. But fetching data client-side in an XGS application is really straightforward as you can see. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.